In this video, we will take a look at Monte Carlo and how we set it up in Excel VBA. And we'll check some values then just to ver verify that the results are correct. So uh, just that it's very basic, let's just uh, copy this snippet of code, this VBA code. Uh, I would have originally uh, obtained a quite similar code from Espen Hogue and then made some minor changes. Um, so if we go into um, Excel then, if we go into our Excel uh, environment, right, and um, we can go to developer, right, so to make sure that developer tab is available, you come to options and make sure on the customize ribbon that the developer tab is ticked. So it's there. Uh, we want to then go into Visual Basic Editor. There is no uh, editor screen here, so we include in a module. And then we'll just paste uh, our code in. Now, uh, we can do the following. We can copy the function name and the arguments, but go back into the spreadsheet. Uh, we can paste, let's make this just a little bit bigger, paste the function name, and then we can set out the arguments, the stock price, the exercise, uh, the maturity of the option, the risk free rate, the dividend yield, the volatility, so sigma in other video clips, and n is the number steps and keep it uh, consistent with numbers we've used before 100 100 t's one year risk free rate five percent no dividend yield volatility 20 percent and we'll go with a very we'll go with a okay small number initially um let's take uh okay so our function if if we um Let's go M, C, and you can see we're getting prompted with the same function name. So just double click, then come up to FX, and the arguments should be the same as the ones here. So we'll say 100 for the stock price, 100 for the exercise T is one year, risk free rate five Q no dividend yield we have two more arguments so let's not leave those out the volatility 20% and the number of steps the number of simulation paths right so when we run that 1025 okay now when we do it again because it's Monte Carlo we get a different result, 1032. The true result will be 1045 using Black Shoals. Um, but if you don't see the Monte Carlo estimation, then each time we run that, we will get a value different uh, from the pre previous value. Okay, now to increase accuracy, if we know that approximately the value of an option with these parameters is approximately 10.4506. Uh, one way we can increase the accuracy is to increase the step size. So we get a bit closer going to 10,000, but to 100,000, we should get close, closer to 10.45 and a bit slower. And then if we put in a million steps, Again, it's not too slow, seems to be relatively fast um, or doable in terms of estimation. So that's 100 simulations, basically 100 pathways, 100 different stock prices. So if we started off with a stock price of 100 and then we considered uh, a million pathways, that's basically a million jumps. And we are adhering here to geometric, if we look at the code, uh, we're adhering here to geometric brown motion. Now that did take a little bit longer. Um, 
but you can see we're getting closer. So with a million steps, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We got relatively close to that 1045. And that's typically what you've got to do with Monte Carlo. Uh, increase your step size and be aware that there is some error embedded into the result. Um, okay, and so that's a, a very brief demonstration of how we would set up uh, Monte Carlo in Excel VBA.